So a hotly debated topic amongst people of hydration, amongst those fine connoisseurs of water drinkers, is how do you get a very, very hydrated chug? Like, how could you do a chug in a way that is so hydrated that it's just incredible, that it's, like, insane? Like, the hydration levels are even more than what you would get just by drinking. How can you, like, optimize? Like, how do you get the meta build for hydration from chugging? Now, for our criteria, you got to actually, it's got to be done in one chuck. You've got to be incredibly hydrated, more hydrated than you've ever been before in just a single chug than what you would be in, if, say, you just did the normal way, which is just taking a, taking a drink out of a bottle with nothing else included. Now, me being the fine architect I am from one of my previous videos a little while back, I am returning, I am resurfacing this skill from the dark depths of my mind, and now I think I've got a pretty good prototype method for getting immensely hydrated. So I've given this a bit of thought, and I think a good way to start would be you would have all along here, you'd have like some kind of sprinkler system, like say you'd attach a hose to a pipe or something, you'd get like, get like a water tank off to the side, and you would attach like a hose or a pump through it, and the pump would go through to a like a like a sprinkler system on a stand here, except it'd be like a pipe with holes in it, say, and very really, really small holes, so that when the water comes from a tube to a pipe connected to this, like from the water tank on the side, and I'll add a diagram to help you later, just neatly drawn by you know yours truly. There will be a water tank over there a pipe going from the water tank, like a hose, just a bit of hose or something, and then going into the spring, the pipe sprinkler, the makeshift pipe sprinkler, and it, and like the pump would just go into the pipe sprinkler, and also, and it would be like dowsing you with water, like as, as you're drinking, which is a pretty good start, I'd say, but I think we can go even further. So you might be wondering, small people society, how, where would the water go? And how would you prevent the most water getting lost? Because, you know, when you're being hydrated, you want to make sure that none of this water is getting lost. Now, you see, I am sitting on a chip, but when you're, when, when in this particular situation, my prototype chug machine, you would not be sitting on a chair. You would be sitting in like a, uh, a tub, a really big tub that kind of just extend, that extends around you. Or like even a blow up kiddie pool would work just fine. It would catch the water going from the sprinkler above, and not only that, but you would also sit in it, and the water would, and the water would get like absorbed by your skin, and you know it would get all wrinkly, and that's like the most intense form of hydration, hydration over your whole skin. Now, if you really wanted, you could have goggles, you know, just for that optimal chugging efficiency. Because mind you, while you're doing this, you will be chugging, so you'll be sitting down, and let let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate. Okay. So. You'd be like, you'd be like sitting down here, right? And what would happen would be, you've got the sprinkler system up there, you're sitting down, you're chugging, and what's happening is the water is going over your face from the sprinkler while you're drinking the water. So, you know, you would go in your eyes, so I'd say optimal equipment here is to bring some goggles if you wanna be able to chug the best, because if you've got water in your eyes, it might be a little hard to chug. But if you are an absolute master when it comes to getting water in your eyes and you can just take it like a champ, then I'd say go ahead. You know, you don't need goggles. Just go full in. You can get the chug without the goggles or sitting in the kiddie pool with the sprinkler going all your face. But I think we can go a bit further. Why stop at just having water sprinkled from one source, just from the front? You could get, I'm saying, if the water tank is big enough and has enough water, I'd say you could set up multiple other sprinkler systems to the side, or what you could also have... Hmm. Is a hose, like a separate hose coming from maybe outside or even from the same water tank, but it's a more concentrated source of um, just of water. 
And so, and here's where the hose also comes into handy. You can, this is a very versatile weapon when it comes to chugging. With the hose, you can. You can have a more concentrated uh, water, just, just coming in from the side or wherever, a more concentrated like spout of water, which you can direct on any point of your skin to make sure that it gets the most hydration. Or you can go to the ultra method, as we call it. You can put the hose to your mouth and turn on the hose and see as you, if you can chug for like one minute like you can just see if you how long you can chug just chugging for as long as physically possible to the point we'd be chugging and you'd be pissing at the same time in just like a constant stream of water that is it's not the meta because it is seen as the hard mode and no one no one to date has actually been able to master this method it's still widely debated whether it can even be mastered um so yeah I think that that's a pretty good prototype, you know. I'll be working feverishly over the next few months to be able to come up with a more refined version. And if anyone has any, like, any request, not requests, if anyone has any ideas for advancing this prototype, please join the Discord down below. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but we do have one. Uh, Killer Killer made it. And uh, yeah, feel free to join and put forth your ideas for advancing this prototype. For now, that's the video, and I hope you have a great day, I hope you have a great rest of the week, stay hydrated, and goodbye.